In this video, we're going to build the actuator. I can see that it has a rectangular end that is 75 millimeters by 39 millimeters. Uh, this rectangular end is centered on the circular shaft that matches the hole in the base. It has two 10 millimeter holes that are centered horizontally and 10 millimeters from each end and the overall length, including the rectangular end, is 200 millimeters. So working in the same part studio, I'm going to start a new sketch. And the front sketch plane should be even with the front edge of the uh, base. So I'm going to use that as my sketch plane and view normal to the sketch plane. So in this case, I want to use or make sure I have available the origin projected there uh, and this center hole in the base. So both of those things are available. We're going to create this rectangular end. I'll use a center point rectangle and snap that coincident to the origin. We know this is 75 millimeters by 39 millimeters. So I have created that and I have the circle. So with those two items in my sketch I'm going to accept that and I'll start with an extrude and I want to extrude both of those together because this will make the solid rectangular end. This has a total depth of 20. I want to make sure that I'm making a new part so this will become part number four, the actuator. Uh, and I'll accept that. Now, the shaft is going to go back through this hole. So we'll start another extrude. In this case, we're going to add this with the merge scope will be part four. We need to choose that circle that I drew last time. I'm going to turn the sketch back on so I can see that and then choose it. I'm going to go the other direction and we said that the overall length is 100, 200 millimeters. We're going to make this blind and set it to 180. And this all merges with part four. I'll accept that. So now to put the holes through that rectangular end, I'll start a new sketch. I'll go to the top surface of that rectangle. Um, I'm going to use a center point circle and I'll view normal to the sketch plane. I'm going to take the midpoint from this end to project and keep these circles on the midpoint. I'm going to use uh, the circle here that's on my swing arm so that I can set these two circles equal. This is a 10 millimeter circle. This is going to be equal and this is going to be equal. I can double check to make sure by just clicking on it and looking at the measure down in the corner to see that those are both set to 10. Now I need to add a dimension. This is 10 millimeters from the end and so is this. With that I'll accept that sketch and I'm going to extrude those two holes. This is going to be a remove. It's uh, removing it from part four these will go all the way through so they come out the bottom and I'll accept that. Now with those features created I have created the actuator. 